So our students um, in their eighth grade classroom in their language arts, they were uh, reading the play Diary of Anne Frank. There's a virtual reality experience where students can go in, they can see where they lived during that time, they get some uh, historical context, they can manipulate all the different um, uh, items and see you know, how they lived and how difficult things were at the time. It's just one of those things that you have to experience that you know, when you read about, it doesn't quite click for students. So. So the technology we use are you know, the virtual reality headsets and one thing about the difference between being in that uh, virtual world versus seeing it on a screen is that you're totally immersed in that environment. Sometimes you, know, you can get in that environment and uh, you, you totally forget that this is virtual and you start to move in the real world to you know, manipulate objects or to interact with things and uh, you, know, you, you might bump into something or you know, because you're that involved and that engaged with what's going on in the virtual world. We were fortunate enough to get several grants from different places, whether it was you know, uh, you know, Perkins grant from Career Tech or you know, we won a lottery grant, uh, the BA Foundation uh, gave us a grant, Walmart gave us a grant. Um, so uh, we were able to compile lots of different uh, sources of funding to be able to uh, have enough uh, VR headsets for every student um, and then have the equipment so that we can develop our own virtual reality programs and videos here at Oneida Ridge Middle School. So um, our students are really fortunate to have uh, this setup and this program because they, they can't get this experience hardly anywhere else. One of the things that I like about it is it's, you know, people think of virtual reality in that you know, it's just for gamers or for developing games. And there are lots of different uh, ways to utilize that. Let's say in geography, we want to travel and see and experience a specific area. We can do that in virtual reality or in science, uh, you know, we're looking and reading about cell models. Well, we can be inside of a cell and go and manipulate the endoplasmic reticulum or see how the, the cell walls all adjust. And so there's utility outside of just developing for it. It's a tool for education. Uh, we're trying to make a pathway for them, um, whether it be the Vanguard Academy or the Broken Arrow High School and you know, AeroVision, just different ways that they can get connected and engaged with this type of technology and experience it um, so that you know, we, have, we have students here in Broken Arrow that are on the cutting edge uh, of the technology and uh, make themselves, you know, give themselves the opportunity to be successful when they leave school.